the evolution of Call of Duty. We have come from here to this, to this, and now to this. How are you? There's no doubt that Call of Duty has been one of my favorite franchises. But now with the new World War II, they tried to get me the War of War nostalgia the, before everything, and they failed. <sighs> they fucked it up. Let me start by the beginning. The main menu. For me, that's very important in a Call of Duty game. This is what it makes me want to play the game. It's the first thing I have to see. And I don't understand why they put this as the main menu. You ha you can see other titles. Like, let's see. Let's go to Block Ops 2. Block Ops 2 actually didn't have, like, that cool... It has, like, one of the boring ones. But at least... It reminds me about the campaign of Black Ops 2 and how good it was the campaign. It reminds me of how I want to play the game. How the memories. Or you take the example of Black Ops 3. Actually Black Ops 3 is a good example. You have the guy with the two guns and you like have the star button. That's, 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 that's good. That one, that's what makes me want to play the game. That, that motivates me to play the multiplayer. Now, let's go to World War II. No, that's not how you make a main menu. You just put images, white and black, and just make me boring. And they throw this boring music. It's so boring. Even the music is not that important. If you can only put me in the menu, the guy from the campaign, or something from the campaign, it will remind me how the campaign of this game is good, and actually makes me want to play the game. Just like the other two games that I mentioned. Talking about the main menu, why is it so hard to go to the multiplayer? When you go in there, it just goes black. And then when it finishes to go black, it connects to something or fetching data or whatever, it's checking your files, I don't know. And then when you're done with that, it goes to loading screen. How many times do you have to load? I don't understand. Before that, you have like something like Modern Warfare 3 or Modern Warfare 2, where you just click multiplayer, and then bada bing bada boom, you are a multiplayer. Come on! Moving on, the game doesn't feel kind of like rewarding. It feels just. I don't know. I, I won this game on Gun Game, and I just. They give a supply drop to the other guy and not me. And actually, I don't feel like I was good rewarded. I only got like the XP from the double XP and that's it. I don't got like something. Because I won the double, uh, the gun game, I don't receive nothing. I don't understand that. And even though if I will be lucky to win a supply drop, I don't know how I win the supply drop. But even though if I'm lucky to win a supply drop, I will get a duplicated and a grip. And the grip, I even not gonna see it to the game because the guy is gonna be, um... Getting his hand all over the grip, and I could not be able to see the grip. I don't understand why this mechanism is something. And talking about headquarters, actually, I like it. <laughs> it's just a space. I, I don't. I don't care if they copied it from Destiny or I don't know from Guard Game, but it's. I like it. There's just a space to actually get like your weapon test or or simply go to a one v one on. I don't know for a random guy just for million or just testing your score streak. I actually had fun testing my score streaks. Go, my baby, go and get them. <laughs> die, die, die. <laughs> oh, go burn in hell. I'm gonna burn me alive. And talking real quick about the maps, it's just for me, it's just a personal opinion. I just feel we're going the same three directions. And it feels kind of like Dom going, uh, choosing just one direction and go to die in that direction. I don't know. I just, I just feel kind of dumb. The, the maps, I feel them dumb. Okay, that's now that multiplayer is out of the way. Let's go to zombies. Oh boy, the zombies. So, where should I start? The character sucks. The the zombies is overcomplicated. The attachments are so complicated. There's a self revive now. 
you can only have four perks. You'd stay like half an hour in the tower waiting for the others to ready up. Because they are looking for their complicated attachments. When you grab the max ammo, it doesn't tell you the usual stuff like max ammo or something like that. It's just like stay like, yep, that's it. And the mystery box sucks. At least like on Advanced Warfare, there was the 3D printer. At least that was better than this. But overall, all that, overall, is good. At least in my opinion. It just feels so rewarding on like exploring. You go into a hole, the hole leads you into a perk, and you have to open a door. And then when you think you are all calmed. Alright, now activate this. And then. Oh, what the fu- Even just following a cable, it can just leads you to a whole disaster even i haven't discovered the easter egg i actually have to do it but it feels so good it's just every single door it feels so big the map it feels so new every single thing is so new i just feel just feels so great it's so great oh my god i'm about to die no 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 this is flamethrower guy Die, 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 bro! Wait, what the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Oh, this is so creepy. What the hell is happening? Ah, die already! Oh, oh, he's dead. Josh. These zombies actually felt something new, something that actually they haven't shown. Actually, even though that they haven't put the other elements what makes zombies good, it actually feels good at the same time. This, this game, this game overall, my personal opinion, it can improve. And it's better than infinite.